All right, what we're going to do is uh, create a DVD that we can play on a regular DVD player using the app named Burn, B-U-R-N. Uh, I've got a link that's going to be attached to this video, so you'll be able to click and download it yourself. Whenever we want to actually download it, we'll find it on the page. It says download 64-bit version, and that's what we'll click on. We'll download it. Of course, I've already downloaded it, so I'm going to skip that step. I'm actually going to go to the Applications folder. I'm going to open up Burn. And we're going to see uh, what that window looks like. It just says, uh, it should open up to data normally. We'll actually click over in the tab that says video. And where that is, I'm going to actually type in the name of it. I've got a video I'd like to burn on DVD. It's called Creation Calls. Uh, we're going to say DVD video. So we just got to add the video to it. I'm going to click the plus button here. I'm going to navigate to where my movie is saved. It's actually saved as a... Uh, uh, MOV file. Uh, you can export from uh, iMovie to create an MP4 or MOV. It really doesn't matter because Burn will convert it into the proper format in order to burn a DVD. I've selected the movie there. I'm going to hit open and it's going to say it's an incompatible file and we want to convert it to MPG. We're going to click on the convert button. It's going to ask where do we want to save it. We are NTSC in North America so we'll save it in our movies folder just so we'll have it. We're going to hit choose and it's going to encode. Now it's going to take a few minutes to encode the file. Uh, I have a pretty fast computer here and it's still going to take a few minutes for mine. On a slower computer it's uh, going to go much slower. It may take up to 30 minutes or so. One option I want you to be aware of with recording DVDs using Burn is the ability to turn off the theme by default, there is a DVD theme that just gives you a button you click on. Uh, I recommend that you turn that off unless you have a customized image you want to put there instead. So I would turn that off before you actually burn your DVD. Now that the video has been encoded properly, you're going to see that it's uh, ready to go. It's showing up in our list. We're just going to click on the make sure that it's selected DVD video over here on this menu. And we can go ahead and click on burn. It's going to say burn in SuperDrive. It's going to ask, it says waiting for a disk to be inserted. I'm going to put the disk in. You probably can't hear that loading up, but uh, it's getting ready. Uh, you may get this uh, notice saying that you've inserted a blank DVD. We're going to click on ignore this time. And in our dialog box for burn, I'm going to actually click the button that says burn. Now that the video is finished burning, uh, I'm, I'm finished with burn. I'm going to actually quit the application. I'm going to hit the eject button on my keyboard to eject the DVD. And it just ejected. I'm going to put it back into my computer. And we're going to see if DVD player can actually play this video.